To insert a bill of materials onto a drawing sheet, select the Insert Bomb icon on the drawing toolbar. Select the assembly to insert the bomb from. The table appears in the drawing exactly as it is set in the assembly tab, so be sure the bomb is defined with the needed columns and order before inserting it into the drawing. Choose the bomb type, the order, and the fixed corner. The bomb type inserts either a flattened table which only displays parts, a structured top level which displays the top level subassemblies only, or a structured multi level which displays the subassemblies and the parts of each subassembly. The order defines top to bottom to display the header on the top of the table and count down, or bottom to top to display the header at the bottom of the table and count up. Once you choose the options, click the table on the sheet to place. After placing the table, you can edit the options by right clicking on the table and choosing bomb table properties. You can format the bomb table as described in the last video with regular tables. To create balloon callouts, select the callout icon in the drawing toolbar. First, format the needed callouts by choosing the balloon style, size, and text height. Each of the five boxes are fields to type text or insert properties. The center field is what displays within the balloon. The four fields to the outside display to the top, bottom, left, and right of the balloon. Properties can reference the bomb table or just the component itself. Note, callouts can be inserted even if there is not a bill of materials table on the drawing. Format the callout to the needed specifications. Then, click the balloons onto edges or vertices of parts within the view. Once done, accept the callouts. To edit a single callout, right click and select Edit. This allows you to change the callout format or reference properties. Bombs and callouts are typically added to assembly drawings to list the needed components and make it easy to understand which component in the view corresponds to which item in the table.